The ability to view and filter all your active jobs is an essential tool for staying on top of your scheduling and service. In the ServiceMate app, go to the Jobs tab and swipe from the left of screen to view jobs according to certain filters, jobs placed in queues, or only jobs scheduled to individual staff members. The smart lists at the top are your go-to filters for jobs requiring your attention. My schedule shows all jobs scheduled or allocated to you in the future. Today shows all jobs scheduled or allocated to you on the current day only, plus all jobs assigned to you for action in a queue. At least one of these two lists will become the main place you check your schedule several times every day. For my review is a smart list to help you stay on top of all jobs that specifically need your attention. It's all about you. A job will appear in For My Review when it contains tasks assigned to you. Someone has mentioned your name in a note saved to the job's diary. The job has been assigned to you for action in a queue. Or the job was scheduled to you in the past but wasn't managed when you checked out. This helps catch unactioned jobs and keeps them moving forward. Your jobs with bookings to review should be scheduled for another visit, sent to a queue, or updated to completed or unsuccessful. Everyone in the business should check For My Review daily and action jobs in this list quickly so jobs run smoother and are completed faster. Tap Edit to add more focused smart lists which filter all jobs with tasks assigned to you, unread mentions in job notes, customer replies, and jobs assigned to you for action in a queue. The ability to view and filter your jobs is similar across the mobile and desktop apps. Let's take a look at the dispatch board. Similar to the app, you can filter your jobs list using this dropdown. Default job filters include all jobs, showing all your jobs currently with the status of quote or work order, in progress jobs, being all jobs with a booking scheduled sometime in the future, unscheduled jobs, being jobs that are not scheduled to a staff member, have not been sent to a queue, or they had a booking in the past which wasn't actioned on checkout. You should aim to keep unscheduled jobs clear. And completed jobs, showing all jobs updated to a completed or unsuccessful status in the last 48 hours. In future, you can find these again by searching or in the Job History tab, and resurrect unsuccessful jobs by simply changing their status back to a quote or work order. The Quotes list shows all jobs with a quote status, with handy highlights for those which haven't had a quote sent to the client yet, have an outstanding reply, or are in a queue helping you keep on top of quotes and win work. Next, you can show jobs by staff member, seeing all jobs scheduled to them in the future, or simply click on their icon. Here, you can filter to jobs which are placed in a queue, or simply click on the queues folder icon to filter the jobs list. Queues are customizable and a very useful feature for managing jobs which aren't ready to be scheduled. They might be on hold, waiting for something to happen, or require a team member to do something off-site. We'll cover queues more in another video. Most importantly, admin and management staff need to know about the Action Required list. Action Required is a business-wide list of jobs that require attention or action. This smart list helps you stay in control, provide fast client communication, and ensure jobs progress efficiently and don't fall through the cracks. A job will appear in the action required list when it has no future booking, or it was booked to a team member in the past and hasn't been managed since. For example, they checked out and didn't reschedule, queue, or complete the job. A job will appear in action required when it's expired from a queue and needs to be followed up, or when there's an email or SMS reply from a client which hasn't been responded to. Responding will clear it, or you can right-click here to dismiss. So, 
Jobs appearing in the action required list need to be scheduled or rescheduled to a staff member for the work to be done, sent to a queue if it's on hold or waiting for something, updated to completed or unsuccessful, or the client's message replied to or dismissed. In summary, the action required list is a core tool to keep your jobs moving forward efficiently and your customer service on point. Your goal should be to keep the action required list empty as this means that all jobs have either been scheduled, are being managed in a queue or completed and clients aren't waiting on a reply from you.